welcome back to another Species Spotlight. This week, we're highlighting a very interesting tree that you might recognize, the strangler fig. Here's a great example of a mature strangler fig tree, which is native to the southernmost part of Florida, which is why we can see them so frequently down in Key West. We can see how large this tree is. And you might be wondering why this species is called a strangler fig with such a malicious type of name. It must have something to do with it. So this tree actually is known to strangle other species. This tree begins its life as an epiphyte or an air plant where it attaches to another plant and collects nutrients from the air. But slowly this plant will attach itself deeper and deeper and grow vines and it eventually will strangle its original host species and it will grow all of these roots and branches. So this strangler fig is very large. At one point, it was another species under this tree. And at this point, that species would be hollowed out inside. So if we cut down this strangler fig, we would see the hollowed species inside of it. What's also interesting is that the strangler fig grows these aerial roots, these roots that are hanging down which just help it to grow and give it more structure. And this species also has a symbiotic relationship with one wasp in particular, the only wasp that can pollinate this species, which is the gull wasp. And this species lives inside the figs of the tree. So it's the fruit of the tree where it will lay its eggs and mate and a female will emerge collecting pollen on their wings because the flowers are inside the fruit. And then it will go on to another fruit and continue pollinating. So they have a symbiotic relationship because the wasp relies on the fig for a house and nutrients. And the strangler fig relies on the wasp to be pollinated. As we can see that this one is very large, they can grow 50 to 60 feet tall. And as I mentioned, they start their life as an epiphyte. So because they start as an epiphyte, they are actually called a hemiepiphyte because they start as an epiphyte, but then turn into a tree species. If you wanna learn more about this very interesting strangler fig and its symbiotic relationship with gull wasps, check out our virtual living lab by registering for free at keywest.garden education.